Hey friends, I am up on the deck right now, looking out over the you know the bog, waterfall, pond, cistern. Um, I have been doing a ton of layout all over the backyard while I do uh, as well a little bit of uh, service on the excavator, which is I guess is out of here now. Um, I'm getting ready to set the last of the boulders uh, and get that excavator and all this dirt out of here and all that dirt covered up. I want to give you just a really quick uh, walkthrough of how the landscaping is forming or is shaping up around it. Uh, some of these lines that I'm going to show you might be, uh, might, you know, subject to change a little bit, but uh, this is the general plan. And I think it's going to be really cool. So I'm up on the deck. You can go down some stairs that way into the backyard or down the stairs this way. Uh, if you go down this way, this is where kind of like all of the, um, patio uh, entertaining uh, functions programming will be so we're going to come down these stairs and immediately step onto uh, you know, a gravel uh, gravel area pathway that goes this way um, and this will be a stream and this you know this will all get shrouded so it'll look like the stream originates you know somewhere on the other side of the property but really it's just going to start underneath the deck and come down through here there's going to be a about a you know, three or four foot bridge that you walk across. Um, hot tub going uh, between those two windows there. Gonna have to come up with some creative solution, maybe a deck or something that I build, just a little like composite deck or something that I build up over this thing, because I have to have access to this. Um, but that's not very interesting. What's, what is interesting is, I've got the liner folded back right now. I've got so much extra liner still. Uh, I've decided and I hope my wife doesn't kill me or veto this plan. Uh, I'm gonna make the pond bigger. <laughs> I'm gonna do it over there too, where I've got all this extra liner. Uh, just a shallow area where I can, uh, where I can plant some stuff. Um, my daughter can, you know, splash around in the water right here uh, without having to go down, you know, all the way into the pond. You know, maybe eight to eight, eight to 10 inches deep max. I've got a sewer line running across here, so I can't go very deep in any, uh, anyways. Um, so that says pond. And then this says CT, which stands for coffee table, which I've got, I found a boulder at the, uh, at the rock yard that was just the absolute most perfect. It's almost got a perfectly flat surface on two sides and it's like 18 inches tall. And I thought how cool would it be to have a boulder for a coffee table? Um, so I'll have a coffee table here ish you know a couple chairs around it so my wife and i and uh, my daughter can have coffee or you know juice box or something in the mornings uh, i'm gonna try to figure out how to place a fire pit like a uh, a movable a movable fire pit uh directly on top of my pump, pump vault i think that's the way i think that's how i'm going to disguise my pump vault is going to be uh, by putting a fire pit on top of it. And that's not the height of the pump vault. You know, it'll get, it'll get cut down down there and then I'll have a bunch of space to build up over top of it. Um, but this is just gonna, this kind of just delineates a six foot semicircle around it where you can, you know, have some Adirondack chairs or something that has an awesome view of what will be of just a little ripple falls here. And then the waterfall, you know, the bigger falls <laughs> still pretty small but uh, riffle falls wide falls uh, from the bog into the pond a um, bunch going on over here uh, I've really got to nail down the the final design for how I'm gonna finish the top of the cistern here because I need to get these boulders set and get out of here with that excavator uh, it's coming together I think I've gone through like three or four uh, three or four plans uh, the white marking over there I was thinking about you know pulling these out and moving the pump vault over there because the main line that's going to carry most of the flow is going to go that way up the back side of the pond up to the bog uh, but that's ridiculous and I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'll keep my submersible pumps here that's going to run the filter in the bottom and the um, and the jets and the stream and then I'll have an external pump that I hide behind some sort of landscaping feature back there and I'll just drop the I'll just drop the suction tube uh, down through these blocks. Maybe I'll remove a row of blocks or I don't know. But anyways, rather than I'll just separate the pumps. So there'll be pumps in two locations rather than trying to move everything to one place or get a really long suction line uh, here or, you know, a really long 
much longer uh, uh, discharge line. Anyways, I'm talking about landscaping, so let's get back to let's get back on track. Uh, the rest of this area in here is going to be some sort of uh, patio, uh, some sort of patio stuff. Not all patio. Like I'll I'll pull some areas out for you know for planting and um, you know soft soft scaping, not hardscaping. Um, but anyways, and then just a real quick run over here. You've seen this before if you've watched my videos. I've got the gravel patio here, the uh, my retaining wall, my uh, urbanite retaining wall. Oh my god, this thing was such a pain to build. I can't believe how hard it was to build. Um, I'll talk about that in another video, but basically uh, the material I had on site to build it with was not probably what you'd want to use uh, because of varying thicknesses and whatnot. To make it work but it turned out good not as good as i wanted it to but it turned out pretty good so this will be a gravel path up to the backyard where this little i think it's a plum tree is going nuts with its flowers and leafing out right now and dropping uh, you know dropping its flowers everywhere it looks pretty cool uh open up into our lawn uh here planter area all around here for the bog so i can create that mystery of you know separating i can plant some you know, I'll have some pretty tall plants, I think, in the bog, as well as uh, some shrubs here and a planter planter area here along the path where I can kind of choke the line of sight down so that you can't really see everything that's going on over here. Come up here, big planter area over here. Doesn't get any sunlight, so it's going to be like a shaded planter area, ferns and maybe some hostas or something, or, you know, ferns, hostas, um, other shade-loving plants. Uh, play <laughs> play set for the uh, for the kiddo with a will be a swing coming off of it and then this will all be uh, this will all be lawn it looks like a big area in the camera it's actually pretty small in terms of you know how big most people's lawns are I tried to keep the lawn big enough for a little kid to have a lot of fun in but not big enough to be a giant lawn that you know sucks up all the water <clears throat> because lawns are just kind of not super eco-friendly. And we're gonna do like a, I think like a clover mix seed to try to make it more drought tolerant. Uh, pulled the planter bed around the corner here so that when you're standing in the backyard, when this bamboo grows out a little bit more, it'll arch over a bit and I can plant something here. There's gonna be, I'll probably have, you know, my garbage and recycling cans way back there, as well as a, a little porch that goes up to the, to the back door over here. I can plant something here to kind of block that view. I need to figure out how to make all this business disappear. Anyways, just another way to create a little bit of mystery to make you want to kind of wander around and see what's going on. I don't know that there's gonna be anything that is exciting going on up here, mostly utility, uh, garbage recycling. Uh, here's the back door where you come down. I've marked out where I'm gonna build a little, um, I'm gonna build a little porch, some steps down into the backyard. And then reserved for future under this tree here, yeah, it'll be my, a tiny little shed, much smaller than the one that I removed before. And then we'll put a new, uh, we'll put a new fence back, but uh, not a not a chain link fence. We'll do something nicer. And I'm thinking we'll do an offset fence so that the door actually opens this way, and you walk. So you come up to the, here's the fence line here, fence line here, gate swings open, or gate swings open rather, and then you walk into the front yard or into the front of the house there we go that is the tour and i'll just walk back real quickly through the whole space so you can see it from this way